Sales of existing homes in Walla Walla County are dropping. The number was down more than 31% during the first quarter of this year compared to the previous quarter. But the UB's Vicki Hillhouse report sales dropped a more modest 11.5% from the previous year, the fourth smallest decrease in the state. Walla Walla's median price of a home, by the way, remained at $190,000 in the first quarter of this year. Public use of the Milton Freewater Health Department Clinic is pretty anemic, to the point that there was a proposal before the Umatilla County Commissioners to close it to cut costs. But reporter Sheila Hagar says an idea now is to keep the clinic open but reduce staff and tell the public of the vaccination, family planning, and testing services it provides. A final decision is slated for June 24th. A man who's a local hypnotherapist and acupuncturist with the Catherine Street Clinic in Walla Walla has been arrested on investigation of indecent liberties for allegedly having sexual contact with a woman patient last month. The woman claims that Alfred Lagner had sexual contact with her during an appointment on May 13th. Police say that on Tuesday they recorded a phone conversation in which Lagner apologized to the woman. Sheila Hagar reports today that Lagner was arrested at his office Tuesday afternoon. The third teenager to plead guilty to participating in a November shooting spree in Walla Walla was scheduled to be sentenced this morning to several years in a state juvenile institution. If the sentencing of Charlie Lozano is not postponed, we'll have details in the paper and here online. Where in the world is Ryan Gary? Could be pretty much anywhere, as long as the foreign land has a tradition of ceramic artwork and it's not during the summer wheat harvest in Walla Walla, during which he makes as much money as possible and heads to places like Latin America or Southeast Asia to hone his pottery making skills. Kevin Listig has the tales of Gary's travels in today's marquee section of the UB. This spring's Iron Man outmuscled the Incredible Hulk, in the opinion of Rick Eskel. Our movie reviewer says in Marquee today, he enjoyed the first Marvel Comics movie more than the Hulk, but despite special effects that were a little too cartoonish, even for a comic book character, Rick loved the Hulk's acting and says, if not incredible, it's entertaining. And come back tomorrow to enjoy another edition of the Daily Bite.